So through the Net Regeneration Scheme we also recycle gill nets. Um, these are processed in a slightly different way than the other types of nets and ropes that we have. So this instructional video is to show you how we go about preparing gill nets for recycling. Unfortunately we don't have the ability to recycle this in-house. Everything that comes into the scheme has to be pre-separated. So we would need the gill net separated out from the rope um, and also from the floats. Hi there, I'm uh, Gus from Seafish. I'm the uh, Southwest Regional Advisor. We've been uh, working with Rob now for probably a couple of years, yeah. um, looking at trying to engage with more fishermen, more harbours, get people uh, thinking about recycling and obviously doing recycling as well. So today here we've got uh, this is just a standard gill net with most gill nets. What you have is a uh, float line on the top. What I want to do with this net is replace um, the old netting because there's, as you can see, quite a lot of holes in it um, and it gets worse as we go down the net. So I'm going to remove the, the netting itself. So what I'm doing is just working down the net itself, cutting the staples off, any spare bits, keep them out of the net if we can. It's a bit there, look. So move up to the next one. Keep the nylon in your hand, keep it separate, make your cut, chuck it in the bin. And then what you're left with is clean nylon. You're going to remove the, the lead line um, and separate it from the netting itself. So, you know, like the, um, uh, the headline, it's a simple, for me, it's a simple cut. Again, the nylon that you've tied, put that in your uh, recycling bin. And this is what you end up with. So simply uh, get your nylon net in, put it into a, uh, a sack. Once those gill nets have been processed and collected by us, they're sent off to our recycling plant where they're then um, baled to be forwarded onto specialist recyclers. So at Indigo we're looking at what types of products can be made from material like this nylon gill net here. This will be sent off to Aquafil and turned into a nylon yarn. And then from that it can be used in fabrics um, and then from the fabric they can create lots of different products such as pants, uh, swimwear, lots of different things. Uh, yeah, and that's called Econile. So any product that's made from Econile will contain uh, gill nets. a plastic drum that's been sent to us this is too far gone for recycling um, I can hear soil rattling around inside of it um, it's very heavily contaminated so it's been dragged around the yard it's covered in all kinds of oils and dirt so yeah this will take quite a lot of cleaning to actually get it prepared for us um, but not what the kind of thing we accept um, as I mentioned earlier some of these are occasionally used for marking pots and traps and um, this is how they would do it. They will tie off to the handle and then use that as the, um, as the marker. Um, again, if it goes into recycling schemes, if you could remove any rope from the outside of it, then that would be really helpful for us. Uh, we do get quite a lot of um, rubber material also from the harbours. 
Um, unfortunately, we don't have an outlet for this at the moment, so we're not able to recycle these materials. Um, these bags as well, made out of plastic, can be recycled, but this is way too heavily biofouled. You can see it's been in the marine environment for a long time, so we've got lots of encrusted marine life on here. Um, mixed in with loads of silt and mud, um, which would be damaging to the equipment. So that, unfortunately, in the present state, can't be recycled. But if this was just um, pressure washed off and cleaned, it could be recycled by us. Cool. And then there was that oil contaminant one. Oh, okay. um, here's an example of something that can't be recycled. It's an old uh, grease tube, still full with grease. So that's something that we wouldn't be able to recycle. Things like this can't be recycled through our scheme. It's just too heavily degraded, too frayed, and all this is going to do is just break up into microplastics around this site. So we don't want to accept anything that this far drum, degraded. Which can be recycled, but it does need a bit of a scrub first. Just get the worst of the grime off there and make sure they're rinsed out because we don't know what chemicals so could be. Here's some of the examples of the things we can't recycle through this scheme. Um, this sort of rubberized type materials. Um, unfortunately, we have no current recycling stream in place for those. Also, any heavily contaminated materials. So here you can see there's lots of buildup of grime and muck. Um, this could be recycled, but it just needs somebody to go over it with, and give it a bit of a scrub. And then that can go into the recycling scheme, either pressure wash it off or just give it a scrub with a brush. Um, but just getting off those sort of heavy oils and any biofouling is really the important. The ability to recycle this in-house everything that comes into the scheme has to be pre-separated so we would need the gill net separated out from the rope um, and also from the floats um, and we're going to show you a quick video on how to actually separate out these components to make it 
Um, yeah, here's an example of a gill net which um, has come into this scheme in a state which we don't accept. Um, this is not recyclable for us, um, which is a shame because all these component parts are actually recyclable and we do have routes for all of them, um, but we don't have the ability to process this in-house. So what we need is for the gill nets to be separated out from the ropes. Um, so here's an example of some of the fishing gear we find, which is um, unfortunately too plastic when it comes to recycling. Um, we can't really recycle material which is this heavily matted and you can see there's all sorts closer. of different organic matter in there as well, uh, which is also problematic. And other elements added in there, so here we've got some fishing hooks, um, some different beads and lures etc. Um, and those will all be problematic when it comes to trying to recycle this material. Um, so. Unfortunately, this has gone a bit too far from us. 